Is ready and waiting. Thanks, man. Hey, Claire, how's it going? Get you something? Nothing for me, thanks. I understand. It's the big day, isn't it? You're meeting him? <laughs> Rogue had this little ritual. Before any big op, she'd knock back a shot at tequila. Silverhand's preferred. Asked her once if it was for luck or whatever. You know what she said? Said it was about remembering. Said that remembering Johnny that way helped her focus on what was important. So, I'm gonna knock one back. You're healthy. And to the mission. I'm glad there's nothing there for you to knock back. <laughs> Good luck, V. Don't drink alcohol, kids. Yeah. Put you back together beautifully. Brand shiny new Wayland. <laughs> yeah, somehow. Anyway, I had enough of sitting on my ass in the clinic. Feel much better here. Where you can tell everyone about your Sokka Tower heroics? <laughs> you know it. But what you plan to do today, V? I mean, respect. Nothing else will ever come close. Take good care of yourself. And good luck. Thanks. I wonder who I'm meeting with. V. I've long awaited this moment. To look the latest afterlife legend in the eye. I must say, I'm moved. Happy not to disappoint. Ladies first. Uh-huh. Talk to me. Well, V. Rikoshi was quite the punch. You TKO'd Arasaka, in fact. Brought you eddies, influence around town, but not just that. It meant positive paralysis of Arasaka systems. A few additional hatches opened up, my people rushed in, grabbed what they could. So it's all systems go for the up. I have confirmed the intel leaking out of Arasaka. The casino is currently testing a new security system. And it's true. They will be shutting it down briefly today. I believe you'll know how to use that moment. Won't be disappointed. Pick the best merc around for the job. So I've heard. But I'd like it proved to me as well. Speaking of which, nobody's ever pulled off a stunt like this. Where I'm from, they'd say it's straight impossible. They'd say you're taking too big a risk. Poetically speaking, flying towards the sun to burn up. Guess that's why he hired me. <laughs> you know why I hired you? Because you'd do anything at all for even the faintest chance at survival. Even if it meant coming to within a hair's breadth of your untimely death. This time tomorrow should have the casino's client data. All of it. Don't forget your side of the bargain. Oh, I never forget a promise. Good luck. Oh, yeah? The game's not done? We got one more heist in us? One final heist? Before the game's done? Right. In position. Perfect. Almost to the second. My turn. Are we in space? Mm. Satellites are down for now. Just got the signal. Signature cloaking activated. Remember, got one shot and one shot only. Mm. Tell me something I don't know. Soon as it starts, there'll be no backing down. No chance at extraction. No chance of survival if anyone notices. Excellent. But if this works, you'll gain more than you ever imagined. Times when I had something to gain are long gone. 
Now... Now I got nothing to lose. That's kinda grim. Then again, who am I to judge? Oh man. We are in space. We... Or, I guess, robbing the palace? We aren't in Night City anymore. That, that's for sure. Okay. Here goes nothing. Good luck. See you down bottom. Over and out. This is kind of crazy. Oh man. That's a big space station. How does that gun work? You okay, V? Wait, that's not. That's not the end, is it? Um, what? Am, am I like, I don't know what's really happening here. Oh, wow. Hey, V. What's up, kid? Been a while since you came to see old Vic. I bet you're tuned in the afterlife found you a new Major League Ripper, huh? Them swanky downtown fuckers should crawl out his ass. Am I right? Ah, well, I mean it, kid. Get all you can out of this life. You deserve it. More than anyone I know. But stop by sometime, okay? Next time you're in the neighborhood, we'll talk about old times, and I'll take a look at you, make sure that the new Ripper of yours didn't screw anything up. See you around, V. Damn. This, that was the end of the game. Um, you know, oh, Mama Wells. Everyone's telling me you're a... Uh, base Gordo now. A big shot, eh? <laughs> so big you can't call me once a week. Once a month, even. Don't forget where you started. Who you started with, hmm? My door's always open to me. There's always food on my table. Mi casa es su casa. No se te olvide. Ahí te veo, Vi. I kind of, kind of hope there might be DLC for this game, where do you live? Hey V, I'm just, uh, I'm calling to say goodbye. I finally decided to up and leave this city for good. Realize this place only gives you two choices. You either become an asshole, or eventually you get off by one. I hope 
you somehow find an alternative. Just a shame things had to end this way. Have a nice life, V. I can't tell if Judy's mad at me or not. Hello, V. How are things? Weather in the Badlands is pleasant as usual. My cooler melted, it's 90 degrees in the shade, and there's sandstorms heading straight for us. So yeah, you're missing out. No, but seriously. We're doing alright. Saul and I somehow get along, for better or for worse. But still, family's always growing, work's always piling up. But better to keep busy, right? And to think if it wasn't for you, I'd still be stumbling my way through Night City. So I just want to say thank you. For all you've done for me. I'd still be lost if you hadn't set me on the right track. All right, well, talk soon, V. Don't be a stranger. Hello, V. Um, Saul speaking. Heard about something big happening in Night City, with a certain V in the lead role. Uh, don't know what you plan to do now, but just remember, we always take care of our own. And, um, you're one of us now, V. You're an Alda Caldo. Remember that. Ah, uh, take care of yourself, V. And see you around. V, hey! Can you hear me? Shit, is this thing recording? Okay, well, all of us have been wondering when you're finally gonna drop by. We can get a barbecue going, knock a few back, do a couple of races, or pay a friendly visit to the Raff and Shiv. Guess what I'm trying to say is, well, Badlands could use a badass like you, V. Don't know what you got on your plate right now, but remember, you're welcome out here anytime. All right, now, take care. <sighs> I feel I feel like, yep, I knew it. I knew River was going to call. So, here's the thing. A couple fellas from the 5th Precinct busted a shop selling illegal iron. Sawed-offs, stun guns, mustard gas canisters. Orders from on up were to blow it all to the ground. But then I thought... Maybe there's a better way to use all this stuff for a good cause. I still remember what you did for us, for me and Randy. The city needs more people like you, but I'm gonna make sure they're equipped. This one's on me, V. See you around. Anybody else got a call? This is actually like a um, pretty mo oh, well, this guy, I guess, you know. City. I'm calling about our recent program to tackle homelessness. What would you say about being the head of my security detail, huh? As you know, the number of people I can trust are few and far between. Next week we're going to be raising the city's taxes, so things might get a little hairy. Come by, we'll hammer out a good deal for you. I'm no any pincher when it comes to safety. All right, well, we'll be in touch, V. Like, I've played probably, what, this has to be, oh, hey, it's Misty, yeah. Listen, I was just thinking about you, so I laid out a quick tarot. I know, I know the reading's not as strong without you here, but we haven't seen each other for so long, and I, well, one thing led to another. Know what I drew? Strength, the Emperor, and the world. Babe, the world's gonna hear about you. Go and show Night City what you're made of. Like, I hope there's no more calls. There's probably gonna be one or two. No, I think we're done. The music started playing. Um, I've done what over a hundred episodes, over a hundred parts. Probably like around a hundred and ten, if not more. I don't know what part this is, um, but man, and those people start calling, you just kind of remember like all you played through. I mean, for some people, it's probably even more because 
there's probably some missions you can go on that I never did. And them just calling you, being like, hey, what's up? I haven't heard of you in a minute. I gotta just hit you. It's like, damn. That's emotional. But, so I'm, I'm gonna turn on the music. I didn't turn it on for me as well. Um, my thoughts on the game was it as hyped up as it when it was being hyped? It's a really good game if you like open world like FPS style games. I don't know many um, besides like maybe GTA, but I feel like this is definitely different from GTA. So, it's a good game. I'm not gonna say it's a bad game. Uh, for me, I know some people, I have a friend who she's just like, refused to play this game because the character creations were bad. Literally, that was her reason, because I guess, uh, they promised a bunch of big character creations and then you kind of got, they kind of got shafted. Me, I, I had no expectations for this game besides wanting to play it for my channel. And I'm actually kind of excited to be over with this game. Not that I was getting bored of it. I was having fun every time I played. Like, I probably did two or two hour, two and a half hour sessions almost every time. And normally I play like an hour and a half for most of my games. But it, it was a good time. And I would suggest if you do play this, either wait till the game's better. Probably, they probably, if they do release DLC, I'll try to get, go and play it. Um, I doubt it'll be in-game stuff. Because I think once you, once this is over, it'll put me back in Arasaka Towers. Or right in front of the one lady tower. And if they do have DLC, I would be more than willing to play it. Um, but yeah, I am excited to start up a new game. It's either going to be Dishonored or even Mario 64. I don't know quite yet. But if, if you watched all like a hundred whatever parts, uh, thank you guys for watching. I know it was a long let's play. And it could have been it could have been like 120. If I didn't do like the. Um, this might be a really long part. It might be an hour of power. I just this alone. It might be like 30, 40 minutes. I don't know. I know I'm gonna just put this all in one video. I'm not gonna make the end credit scenes its own video. But um, yeah, I suggest this game if you like open world. Uh, I would suggest you play it on an Xbox One X, because that's what I played on. Uh, a lot of people won. I know I had Xbox One in the title. I don't think it runs well on the old Xboxes. I think it was actually kind of meant for my Xbox and then the newer generation, so like Series X and PS5s. It might work pretty well on a Pro, like PS4 Pro, I couldn't tell you. I think one of my friends says he still has some issues every so often. But that's my take on like the game itself. For the story, I did feel like the main like if you just played main story and didn't do any of the side missions, it would be very lacking. I will say that you gotta play the side missions to really feel involved with this story. Uh, I'm glad I did, especially a lot of the Johnny ones. I did feel more obligated and sad when I um said he needed to go and not V, but we all, I also believe I made it to where V, they had agreed to make V the person to take the body. And I think V clearly does. Clearly, at the end there, it's V in control. And she's still trying to figure out how to not be deteriorating, is my guess, and that's why she took on such a big job. But who knows? I would love to play that DLC. Even if it was just like a three hour DLC of, hey, you're going in here, taking stuff, and landing back outside like Night City. 
Oh man, that'd be so dope. But there's, I don't know if there's ever going to be DLC for this game. There may not. I know CD Projekt Red has had a lot of issues with this game. And a lot of people are, they like it, but at the same time, they're kind of like, uh, it's an okay game, but it, it was very much rushed. I think corporate, like, honestly, this game's very much going against the man. If, I think if you're playing the street kid. already on <laughs> and so like you're playing like corpo this corpo that i think this game was very much r rushed by corpo partly the fans wanting it so corpo the corporations pushing this game out definitely were like hey push this game it could have been developed longer um but yeah and i understand most open world games they have like little side things you can do because I, if I remember right, in my open world game of Sunset Overdrive, I didn't do, like, jack shit for side missions. I didn't realize there were side missions for the game. Um, in this one, I did do side missions. Uh, I And I think in Sunset Overdrive, there was, like, a bunch of random stuff you could do, like challenges, this little job, this little job. This one, I saw them all over the place. All over the place. Uh, and I think I every so often I would walk up to a random person and talk to them about it, or just not mention it at all. Uh, cause unless they hand it to me, I probably wasn't gonna worry about the side mission. Besides the Psycho Pass and the tarot card, like, graphics, I didn't see a point in doing them. Like, going around doing every little thing. I mean, for some people, that's great. This is a great time killer game. If you want a game you want to seek 100 hours into and it's fun, this is a game for you. It's another, I would say, it's not on par with Skyrim. I have never played Skyrim, so if you would like me to do another open world game and it be Skyrim, I am more than happy to try it. Or uh, Fallout. I, I am more happy to try out those Bethesda games. Um, I have tried playing them. This is actually my second open world game I've ever beat, like, from start to finish. Uh, my first one was... <laughs> that's how long this has been going. My controller. Uh, oh. I'm gonna hold X so this fast forward is a little bit more. Uh, if you... What is it? Close? Uh, we're... We can probably close this. Thanks for playing. Congrats, you've completed the main storyline in Cyberpunk 2077. But remember, the night city never sleeps. There's still so much to see and do. You can continue from your last Super World checkpoint where you will be playing special awards. You will have special awards waiting for you. Would like to keep playing? Y you know what? Let's see what the. <laughs> Let's see what the, um, the special awards are. Uh. So yeah, I'll finish off just kind of walking around saying what you get. Um, I'm very happy to be done with this game. Uh, I might make this my mess around game if just, hey, I don't have much to do and I just want to like play a game for like 20 minutes and do like a quick job. I don't know. Because uh, I did mostly everybody's storyline, I believe, besides maybe Carrie's. But I don't know how many storylines there are. Here's your reward. Congrats, you can play the main storyline. It's 2077. You'll be finding your special reward waiting for you in your inventory. Note if you if any of the rewards you've earned are separate, you will have to visit a Rip Doctor to use them instead. Okay. So yeah, it shut me like right there. What is my rewards? Is this it? I don't maybe? Uh, I don't have anything yet that is new. Any weapons? Well, that's new. That's a rogue's revolver. 
right? This is like Rogue's revolver or gun. Yeah. And then cyberware. These are all new. Highlights enemies who have detected you. Allows you to see the pre precise explosion radius of your grenade. Allows you to see the precise explosion radius. Oh, that's just two. Okay, I, this is just stuff I never added, I guess. Uh, I don't know if I got anything. I mean, besides the reward. Uh, Gull arms deal physical damage. Gull arms deal thermal damage and have a small chance to apply burn. Okay. I don't like. I don't, I don't think anything was new here. I don't think I got anything new. What about my backpack? This is new. That's new. I think maybe yeah, he's got more components. I don't see anything that's like super crazy. That I don't already have. So, I don't know. I don't know what I fully got yet. I haven't got anything besides the uh, Rogue's revolver or Rogue's pistol. I'll yeah. Survive. So, been worse. Six months before yeah, I thank you guys so much for watching. This has been my Let's Play of Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, I enjoyed it. I'm glad I'm done with it. It was a great game. But for right now, uh, I'm, I think I want more of a linear game. Or at least a smaller open world game. That's, that's for sure. It says 35 hours, but... I think it's more like 37 because it shoves you right in front of like where you were so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you do enjoy the next series or the next games i'm playing or the current ones i'm playing now so until the next video thank you guys so much for watching later No problem.